Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade, Ross Gordon, Julie O'Neill to my left. In between us, the Spartan postgame player of the game tonight, Jonathan Wade, a game high 23 points, a very efficient night, 7 of 11 from the floor, 2 of 3 from downtown, 7 of 8 from the free throw line, 6 points, 5 assists tonight for, for the senior from Panama City, Florida. Uh, hey, nothing like a win here at home against Hampton in the Battle of the Bay, especially in front of a packed crowd. Talk a little bit about the game tonight. Uh, we, we struggled to close the game up at Dell State, and tonight we, we, when we got the lead, we stuck with it, and we really put, put the hammer down. Yeah, firstly, I want to um, thank God for this opportunity to play in front of this crowd. It was amazing. Uh, the energy was crazy from start to finish. Uh, it feels good to get a W back-to-back -back, uh, coming with Dell State. We kind of didn't finish the right way, but um, I feel like coming in the second half, we didn't finish like we really wanted to and kind of – stop them from getting a run but we finished the right way absolutely and in the second half you had a few errors but you did capitalize and took advantage at the free throw line you guys yeah. went 17 from 18 from the free throw line in the comparison to the first half where you didn't you mm -hmm. only had two attempts yeah what? um in the first half a lot of shots from the outside were open mm -hmm. especially threes and pull-ups and transition buckets were um really good and uh me a lot of the team Basically, almost the whole team has been working on our free throw percentages because our free throw percentages aren't that high right now. We've been working on that. And uh, in the second half, we got some fouls, and I was able to knock them down. 49% from the floor, 62% from three, led uh, by yourself. And also, Zanai Robinson hit two. Kerwin hit two. Three of four for Kyle Williams. Micah hit one. Uh, when a team is shooting uh, three-pointers like that at 62%, it's something that you have to be proud of as a team that the, the in the gym work yeah. uh, coming into tonight's game really paid off. Most definitely. After, even after Dell State, the day after that, a lot of guys came in. I hit them up like we get, got to get in the gym. We got to get ready for this game because we had a couple of days to get, get better as a team and individually. So um, we were ready. We were most definitely ready for this game tonight. And um, I feel like it showed. You look at tonight's game and we transition that into a Coppin State ball game on Monday night. Coppin State, a team which has started out hot in conference play, 4-1 and one overall. And uh, they're a team that they get up and down the floor, a game like we'll see almost like Savannah State. They get up and down the floor, shoot a lot of threes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, we've scored 70 points, over 70 points in the last couple ball games. It's going to have to be another night where we score over 70 to get the win. But defensively, again, locking down like we did tonight is probably going to be the key. Yeah, we, to be honest, I'm kind of going to enjoy the win tonight, but most definitely tomorrow we're going to lock in and be ready for uh, Coppin and get the game plan, get the scout. And, um, our defense, I feel like, most definitely sets our offense up. So all we got to do is really get stops and harp in on defense, and then our offense will come because we got a lot of guys who can score, a lot of guys who are great offensively. So once we just play defense, rebound, not turn over the ball, our offense will take care of itself. Had a couple great moments tonight, one bad one, but again, we look back at this game, we'll look at the final score and say that's the only thing that matters. Most definitely. Hey, it's a final score of 79-62, 23 points for Jonathan Wade, six rebounds, five assists tonight for the senior, and uh, we'll see him on Monday night as Norfolk State travels up to Baltimore, Maryland tomorrow to take on Coppin State. Thank you for stopping by, Jonathan, and uh, we'll see you on Monday night. For Julie O'Neill, I'm Ross Gordon. Thank you for watching NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.